and tuning in. We're going to do a little bit of a heart opening loving kindness meditation to, to begin and then a heart opening um, asana followed by a nice relaxing just chill out savasana at the end. So you might like to come into a position of savasana now just laying on the floor on your back. Just starting to tune into the energy in your room, in your own personal yoga studio. Relaxing into your body. Let your breathing relax. And let your breathing come and go by itself. Soften your scalp, your face, your forehead, your temples, eyelids, eyes. Let your eyes sink deep into their sockets. Relax your jaw. Let your chin move towards your chest. Soften your cheeks. Let your lips part a little and soften around your mouth. Let your tongue rest comfortably inside your mouth. And imagine that the roof of your mouth is expanding. Swallow and relax your throat, relaxing your neck. And let the weight of your head drop down into the support underneath. Let the relaxation flow down to your shoulders, right down deep inside your shoulders. Take a big deep breath in and sigh the breath out through your mouth. Softening more into your shoulders and softening in the chest. The relaxation flows from your shoulders now, down to your arms, into your hands and your fingers. You feel your whole body relaxing into the floor, giving in to the rest. Be aware of your back. Feel it being drawn down into the floor as you allow the muscles to sink in. As your breath goes out, Keep sinking your back down, down into the floor. Now with each out breath, keep softening your abdomen and chest. Be aware of your legs. Feel the large muscles of your thighs becoming heavy, falling down into the floor. The feeling of relaxation flows down through your knees, into your lower legs, and into your feet and toes. Now your whole body is relaxed. You've dropped into a state of relaxation. With each breath, breathing in softly and breathe out patiently. Let the quiet breath nourish you with its softness and patience. Allow yourself to just be and to feel a sense of openness and spaciousness. As you breathe, be aware of your heart, open your heart to yourself and gently bring love into your heart for yourself. Make room for yourself and envelope yourself in loving kindness and compassion. Say to yourself, may I be filled with loving kindness May I be well, may I be peaceful and at ease, may I be happy. Picture someone in your life who has truly cared for you, picture them close to your heart and carefully say to yourself, 
May they be filled with loving kindness. May they be well. May they be peaceful and at ease. May they be happy. Allow this loving kindness to expand to everyone in this room and fill the room with care and kindness and say to yourself, may they be filled with loving kindness. May they be well. May they be peaceful and at ease. May they be happy. Now picture someone who you're acquainted with but don't know very well. For instance, someone you see on the street or in the shops that you encounter regularly. Say to yourself, may they be filled with loving kindness. May they be well. May they be peaceful and at ease. May they be happy. Picture someone whose personality you find difficult to take. Any negative thoughts which come into your mind are allowed to pass, observed but without interaction. Picture them again and recall your compassion and say to yourself, may they be filled with loving kindness. May they be well. May they be peaceful and at ease. May they be happy. Now allow your loving kindness to spread to include the entire city that we live in. Imagine it expanding through the whole state, through the whole country, to the whole world. Slowly envelope the whole world in loving kindness. Slowly and gently let your love spread to all beings everywhere. May all beings be filled with loving kindness. May they be well. May they be peaceful and at ease. May they be happy. Allow yourself to just be and feel a sense of warmth, openness and spaciousness. Each time you practice yoga, it's an opportunity to observe yourself without judgment. Taking a couple of breaths and then rolling to one side. Coming to a comfortable seated position. With your eyes soft, relaxing your palm on your legs, sitting upright. Breathing in and out, feel the breath, relax, and bring your palms into Anjali Mudra. It's a gesture of gratitude and respect. May your heart open a little more and you feel compassion and strength as you work through your yoga today. We're going to open our space with an OM. You can join me if you wish, but you don't have to. Taking a big breath in and a big breath out, releasing all that doesn't serve you. Another breath in. Thank you for being here today for yourself and supporting each other. Be kind to yourself with your yoga. If there's anything that you feel um, you need to just re relax, you can relax into Savasana or into child's pose. Let's come to a child's pose position now with your knees nice and wide apart and your feet together. Bring your buttocks to your heels and gently walking your hands forward, surrendering into child's pose and bringing your forehead down towards the mat. Just noticing how your body feels. You may notice some tightness in your thighs or in your lower back. With each breath, just surrendering a little more, bringing the forehead down towards the mat. 
checking in with your body and checking in with your mind. Stay here for three more breaths. And then coming up to a neutral position with your knees underneath your hips and your hands nice and spread out underneath your shoulders. As you inhale, lifting through your chest and your heart. And exhale, bringing your spine up towards the ceiling, gazing through your knees towards your feet. Just continue on, warming up your spine, breathing in and lifting your gaze and breathing out, bringing your spine up towards the ceiling. Tuning into your breath and let your breath guide the movement. Let's go for two more breaths here. On the next exhalation, tucking your toes under, pressing the ground with your hands and coming up into your first downward dog. Just getting comfortable in your position, walking your heels down towards the mat, stretching out through the back of your legs. You feel the stretch through your shoulders, hamstrings and lower back. Taking three more breaths here, just relaxing into the position, starting to warm up your body. And then coming back down to your knees onto the floor. Take your hands a little forward, hips forward, and lift your chest and lift your gaze into an upward dog. Taking a couple of breaths here, just noticing the heart opening, a little bit of compression through your spine. And then we're going to exhale. Tuck our toes under, bring our hands back a little into downward dog. Stretching back, bringing the heels down towards the ground. And then coming forward, taking your hands forward into upward dog. So we're going to go through this upward dog and downward dog for about five breaths, feeling the nice stretch, heart opening, lifting your chest and your gaze into upward dog and then exhaling, bringing your hips through and stretching down your legs into down the dog. Let's go three more. And then on your last downward dog, we're going to step forward into a forward bend. So let your body hang here. Let your chest fall heavy and your head fall heavy. Just noticing the stretch through the back of your legs and the lower back. Staying here for three more breaths. Just softening the breath. And then on the next inhale, bring your hands all the way up, stretching up, and then come back to Anjali Mudra. Okay, from here we're going to go into a sun salute. It's a little bit different to what we've done before. So I might do one round first and then you can come with me. Let's just change the angle a little bit. Okay, so we're going to come to the top of the mat. We inhale, lift our arms up, and we're exhaling, folding forward. And then we inhale, lift and lengthen our spine, and exhale, we're going to step back with the left leg, and then we're going to bring our arms up into crescent lunge. So we've got our right leg is forward, bent, and then we're going to take our hands down to the mat and step the right leg back into a high plank and then slowly lower our body down to the mat. Inhale as we lift our chest up into an upward dog 
and then tuck our toes under and come to a downward dog. Then we're going to raise our gaze and step forward into your forward bend. Inhale, lift and lengthen our spine. Exhaling, folding forward. And then inhale, lift and lengthen, coming all the way back up to mountain pose. Good. Okay, so that's one round. Let's do a couple more rounds. So we'll start again at the top of the mat. So inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhaling, folding forward. Lift and lengthen the spine. And then stepping back with the left foot. And then bending the right foot and bringing your hands up into a crescent lunge. And then exhale, folding forward and step back into a high plank. You can go to low plank if you want with your knees on the ground. And then slowly lowering the body to the mat. Inhale, lift your heart into an upward dog. And exhale, tuck your toes under, come to a downward dog. Then we're going to inhale, lift our gaze towards our hands and step forward into a forward fold, lift and lengthen our spine, and then exhale as we pull our chest towards our legs, and then inhale, come all the way back up, and back to Anjali Mudra. Nice. So we're going to take the same one again. Inhale, lift and lengthen, exhaling, folding forward, lift and lengthen the spine, and this time we're going to step back with the right foot. And then bending the left leg, bringing the hands up into a crescent lunge. Exhaling, folding forward, bring your hands down to the mat. And stepping back with the left foot into a high plank. Or you can take your knees to the mat if you want for a low plank. Slowly lowering yourself down. Inhale, lift your heart to up the door. And exhale, tuck your toes under and come up into a downward dog. And then lifting your gaze towards your hands, stepping forward into a forward bend. Lift and lengthen the spine and then bring your chest towards your legs and you will come all the way back up. So we're going to go two more rounds. This time we're going to go left leg back. So we inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhaling, folding forward. Lift and lengthen the spine. Exhale, step back with the left foot. Bending the right leg and bringing the arms up into crescent lunge. Nice. Exhaling, folding forward. And then step back the right leg into a high plank or low plank. And slowly lowering your body down to the mat. Inhale, lift your heart into an upward dog. And exhale, tuck your toes and coming up into down dog. Inhale, step forward to a forward fold. Lift and lengthen your spine. And then exhale as you bring your chest to your legs. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Got one more now on the other side. So inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhaling, folding forward. Lift and lengthen the spine. And then step back with your right foot. Left leg bent. Bring your arms up into crescent lunge. And then exhaling, folding forward. Taking the left leg back into a high plank or a low plank. Slowly lowering your body down to the mat. Inhale, lift your chest and lift your gaze. Exhaling, tuck your toes up into downward dog. Take your gaze forward and then step into a forward bend. Lift and lengthen the spine, feeling that nice stretch down the back of the legs. Bring your chest towards your legs. And then inhale, come all the way back up. 
And then hands back to Anjali Audra. Nice. Just taking a couple of breaths here. That's quite a lot of energy and activity. And we're going to come back down into a do a little bit of balancing next. So I'll just show you first of all what we're going to do. So we're going to go into an aeroplane pose. So we're going to start off with our hands by our side, and then we're going to step back with the left leg and bring our hands up and then bring your hands down towards the mat and lifting our left leg off the mat and then we're going to come up into aeroplane. So let's do that together. So coming towards the front of the mat, opening up through your feet, getting a really nice grip on the ground. So we're going to inhale, lift our hands, lift our gaze and then we're going to step back with our left foot. Exhale as we fold forward, bring our hands down to the mat. As we gently take our left toe off the mat. And then when you feel you're ready, taking the weight on the right leg and lifting the hands up into airplane. Gazing just in front of the mat. If you need to, you can always bring your toe back down. I'm going to stay here for three more breaths. And then gently bringing that left toe down to the mat. And then coming down into all fours. From here we're going to lift our left leg and our right arm as we inhale. And then we're going to exhale as we bring our left leg and our right elbow together. Into time we go, inhale, back out again, lengthening through the hand and the foot, pointing your toe down towards the mat. Exhale, coming back into tiger curl. Inhale, all the way up, nice big stretch. And then come back again. From here, we're going to bend our right leg. So bend our left leg. Bring the foot across to the right side and bring your right hand back to get hold of your left foot. You can hold a little bit further down or you can just have your left foot and then lift your right hand back, stretching through the foot and the hand and then release. We'll go to the other side. So we're going to inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, come into tiger curl. So bring your left elbow and your right knee together. Inhale, lift and lengthen with the right toes pointing down towards the mat. Exhale, bring them together into tiger curl. Inhale, lift and lengthen. One more. Keeping the back nice and steady. And then from a lengthened position, we're going to bend the right knee and bring the right foot towards the left side of the body, holding steady, and then take the left hand back to hold the right foot. And we're going to lift this chest and pull back through the foot, feeling a nice stretch through the shoulders and through the thighs. Two more breaths here. And then release. Come back into child's pose and just relax our body, getting our breathing back to normal. Taking a couple of breaths here. And then coming back up into the standing position and we'll do the other side. So I'm going to, this time we're going to inhale, lift our arms. Lift our gaze and exhale, folding forward, bring our hands down to the mat and taking our right foot up. Getting nice and steady on that left leg, spreading your toes out. And then we're going to gently take our hands off the mat 
at any, at, take your gaze just in front of the mat. At any point, you can drop your right toes to the ground if you need to. Come into aeroplane pose. Taking three deep breaths here. And then gently lowering that right toe down to the mat. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, bring your hands back to Anjali Mudra. Nice. Okay, come side onto the mat now. We're gonna do a wide footed forward bend. So we're gonna inhale and lift our arms all the way up. And exhale, we're gonna fold forward. Taking our toes a little wider and bringing your crown of your head down towards the mat. I'm going to stay here for five breaths. Just enjoying the inversion. Two more breaths here. And then we're going to take our hands towards the right side and we're going to put our right foot forward and our left foot is going to stay in the same position. We're going to take our left hand and move all the way up into a triangle pose. Taking your gaze with your left hand. We'll stay here for three more breaths. And then we're going to bring that left hand back down to the mat and take the right foot, point it forward, and we're going to take our left foot pointing straight ahead towards the back of the mat and bring our right hand up into a triangle on the other side. Feeling that nice stretch, lengthening out through that left leg. Taking three breaths here. And then bringing the hand down to the mat. From here, we're going to be facing towards the back of the mat and bringing your right knee down to the mat. Just change my position so you can see. That brings us into lizard pose. So we have our hands on the mat inside the left foot with our left knee bent next to our left arm. And from here, just moving the body around, taking a few deep breaths, feeling that stretch through the hip on the left side, taking the right knee back a little, and bring the left foot back and bring the knee next to the right knee. And we're gonna bring the right foot forward into a lizard on the other side. Feeling that nice stretch through the hips. Just move your body a little bit. And then take the right foot back and bring your knee next to the left knee. From here, we're going to bring the left knee forward and take the left foot out towards the right side of the mat. Lifting the heart and sliding the right leg back into your pigeon pose, keeping your chest up nice and tall. If you wish, you can come down to your forearms and stretch out a little more, feeling that release through the glute on the left side. Just thank you for three more breaths. And bringing your hands back up to the mat, sliding the left knee back and bring the right knee forward and taking the right foot towards the left side of the mat. Bringing your chest up nice and tall, sliding the left leg back a little, feeling the stretch through the glutes on the right side and bringing your forearms down to the mat. So noticing your breath and just relaxing, surrendering into 
We stretch a little more with each exhalation. One more breath here. And then coming back up onto your hands and bring that right knee back next to the left knee, tucking your toes under and we'll take it up into a downward dog to rinse out that stretch. Just walking your heels down towards the mat, stretching through your back and stretching through the back of your legs. Taking three more breaths here. And then coming down to the mat and onto your back, hugging up your knees to your chest into Apanasa. moving your hips in a circular direction, rinsing out your lumbar spine and then placing your feet on the mat with your legs bent, arms out to the side. As you exhale, taking your knees to the right, looking to the left, with the back of your shoulders nice and flat on the mat. Two more breaths here. Then inhale, bring your knees back to the centre. And exhale to the right. Taking three breaths here. And then coming back up to centre and coming back into a seated position. Now we're going to do forward fold from a seated position. We'll just change my angle a little bit. Just taking a few deep breaths there, relaxing your legs into the floor. Lift and lengthening the spine, lifting your chest. Inhale, lifting your arms up. And exhaling, folding forward. Bring your hands down to your big toes, taking your gaze towards the toes and exhaling as you surrender a little more into the forward bend. Taking five breaths here, just softening your eyes and noticing how your body's feeling. Next time you exhale, just surrendering a little more, noticing the stretch through the back of your legs and through your lower back. And two more breaths here. Releasing your hands and taking your legs out wide. And coming up onto your sit bones with a nice tall spine. So we're going to inhale, lift our arms, and we're going to exhale and bring both hands down to the right side stretching through the right hamstrings. Bring your gaze towards the toes. You can have your hands under your feet or you can bring your hands to your ankle or your shin. Softening your gaze. Taking three more deep breaths here. And on each exhalation, just surrendering a little more into the stretch. And release and inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, bring your hands down to the left side. Lengthening out through that left foot. If you find that your leg is bent, so Elsa, you might like to come back and hold on to your shin. Let, let your leg go straight. That, that's it. Yeah, bring your hands back a little bit with your gaze towards your toes. So just do what's comfortable for you. We'll have three more breaths here. So softening your eyes and just surrendering a little more on each exhalation. And then release. Bring your spine up into a nice 
elongated position and we're going to go from side to side so I'll just change my position so you can see so taking the legs out still nice and wide bring the right hand down to the mat and bring the left hand across and then to the other side so bring the left hand down to the mat and then bring the right hand across getting that nice stretch through the right side and continue on do two more on each side at your own pace using your own breath inhale as you lift and lengthen and exhale as you bring the other hand over the top bring your arm towards your ear chest up nice and tall good From here, we're going to bring our legs back together and come up onto our sit bones again. And we have our toes pointing towards the ceiling. We're going to bring the left leg up and bring the foot across. Spine nice and tall. Bring your right hand onto your knee and your left hand behind you. And we're going to draw the knee towards the right side, look towards the left. And feeling that stretch through the lower back. On um, each exhalation, just twisting into a little more. We'll stay here for three more breaths. So feeling that twist right through your spine, opening up through the chest and opening up through the glutes on the left side. And then release and bring the leg back to the floor. And then we'll go to the other side. So bring the right foot across, left hand on the knee, right hand behind you. And looking over your right shoulder as you twist your body around, take your gaze towards the back. And using your left hand to draw that right knee towards the left side. Three deep breaths here. Surrendering into the twist a little more on each exhalation. And relax. From here, we're going to go into boat pose. So we're going to lay them out front. Bringing our hands out in front of us and just lengthening through the hands and the feet. From here, we're going to lift and lengthen left foot and right hand and exhale and then we'll go to the other side inhale lift and lengthen the left hand right foot and to the other side here it's going at your own pace and then one more on each side From here, we're going to bend down knees and just take our feet from side to side, just loosening up through the lower back. And then we're going to reach back with the right hand to the right foot into a half boat pose. And we're going to lift our chest and draw our foot away from our body, feeling that stretch through the right side. Taking two more breaths here. And then release, and we'll do the same on the left side. So bring your left hand back, and lift and lengthen through your chest. Draw your foot away from your body, feeling that stretch through the thighs on the left side. And then we're going to go to full bow pose, taking your right hand onto the right foot. From here, we're going to lift and lengthen our chest, squeezing through our buttocks and, and drawing our feet away from our body. This is our peak pose. Nice. And one more breath. And release. Bring your hands down to the mat and bring your body down to the mat. Taking a couple of breaths here.
And then from here, we're going to roll onto our back and hug our knees to our chest, rinsing out that stretch, giving your lumbar spine a nice little massage, just going in a circular direction, taking some deep breaths and then go back to the other direction. Then bring your feet down to the mat. Bring the heels close to your buttocks. We're going to inhale and lift up into a bridge pose. And bring your hands overhead. And as we exhale, we're going to slowly lower our spine down to the mat. And bring our hands back beside us. Slide the heels in a little closer to the buttocks. And then inhale all the way back up. Lift and lengthening through the hips, squeezing the buttocks, bring the chin to chest. And exhale, bring you back down. Doing two times, your own time and your own breath. And from here, we're going to go into our inversion with our legs in the air. So you can do a half shoulder stand if you like. You can have your legs up a wall. You can put something underneath your hips into a supported shoulder stand, whatever is right for you. So inhaling, lifting up. If you're going to do the shoulder stand, Holding your hips like a fruit bowl, bring your elbows together. With your feet up in the air, just giving your ankles some little circles. Having nice light legs, give them a little shake. Bringing the soles of your feet together and your knees out to the side. Taking a few breaths here and then taking your feet out nice and wide. Taking five more breaths and feeling the effects of the inversion. Very good for your immunity, good for your lymphatic system. And then slowly lowering your body down to the mat, hugging your knees to your chest. And then releasing your body into Savasana. You might like to place a, a blanket over you. You might like to place a bolster under your knees. It's getting nice and comfortable. And we're gonna have five minutes just nice silence, savasana, drawing on all of the asana that you've been doing, distilling the energy throughout your body. If you have an eye pillow, you can place that over your eyes. Feeling supported by the earth. relaxing through your breath and enjoying the relaxation at the end of your yoga practice. Thank you. 
tuning into your breath. Notice how your chest expands as you inhale and how it retracts as you exhale. Noticing how your body feels. And notice your mind. Letting the thoughts come and go. Just tuning into your breath. Starting to come back into the room, noticing the sounds in the distance and noticing the sounds in the room. Stretching out, taking your hands overhead, give your body a nice stretch and then gently rolling to one side. <laughs> You can stay here if you want, if you'd like a little bit more rest, or you can come to a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to Anjali Mudra. We're gonna pay respect with an Om to complete our practice. Taking a deep breath in, and then deep breath out, releasing all that doesn't serve you, Another breath in. Oh. So bringing the feeling of the heart opening practice today and your heart opening meditation with you for the rest of the day and the rest of your week. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for your energy, for your 
support for yourselves and for each other. Let's bring our hands to our forehead for kind thoughts and to our lips for kind words and to our heart for a kind heart. Namaste. Good. Thank you, everyone.